Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress.com website and WordPress is a really great content management system that is not just used in the free version here that we're going to be using in this class, but a lot of websites that we visit every day actually have WordPress working behind the scenes and chances are that if you get a job updating a website that there's about a 30% chance that you'll be running a WordPress site in your future. So uh, it's a really great time to get some practice with it and also this semester you're going to be posting articles on your website that have to do with the topic of your choice. So to get started you're going to go to wordpress.com and you can see here where it says start your website. I'm just going to go ahead and click on there. Now it's going to ask for an email address and so I recommend that you use your Texas State email address. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and add a few numbers here because I've used this one before. Then you're going to use any kind of username that you might want to create. Um, and I've used this many times, so I'm going to go ahead and create that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a password. From there, it's going to ask you what your domain is going to be. Now, a domain is what you see up here in the URL, in the address bar. And so you're going to have to think about your subject a little bit. So if your topic was restaurants, in Central Texas, you can go ahead and type that in and do a search and it will come up with a domain for you. And you have to be a little bit creative because obviously there's a lot of sites out there that have already been created. And you'll see that there are lots of different options for like vanity domains if you want to. You could pay more to get a .com uh, versus what they're gonna give you here. And there are lots of different options here, but choose the one that says free and if you don't like what they gave you, you could always search other ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and press select. And then it's gonna also try to upsell you on you know, some extra features that you might be interested in. If you want to pay, you can, but I'm going to just go ahead and do the start with a free site up here at the very top because we wanna make this a free site. In the meantime, it's gonna go ahead and create us our site. Now what they brought us to here was the dashboard, and the dashboard is something you're going to be pretty familiar with. It is kind of the back end of your website. It's going to give you some options for posting all of your articles and then also redesigning your site a little bit and changing some of the settings. And so these are all accessible here on the left. So before we get going with our site, uh, it's saying that your site has been created, but they need to go through some steps to actually launch your site. So I'm gonna press this Get Started button. And first we wanna name our site. Now this is very important for search engine optimization, for search engines to find your site. And so you're going to want to use a title that has to do with your, your subject. And so if this was all about restaurants, reviews in Central Texas, you're gonna to wanna to use keywords uh, that will be descriptive of your site. And then you can create a tagline. All the best food you can imagine. I'm not sure what you'd want to do. And then we can go ahead and change a site icon. That's what pops up here in the tab if you want to. And then um, you don't have to change anything about the time zone. And we can go ahead and just save those settings. Now from there, we can uh, return home. We can go back to the step-by-step -step process that they're taking us through. The next thing we wanna do is update our home page. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to actually edit your home page and get it ready for your viewers.